I thought it would be fun to go through a lot of my art school sketchbooks and let me preface this by saying these are not my pretty sketchbooks, these are my project sketchbooks and my practice sketchbooks and a lot of the time I didn't care about what things looked like, it was more about generating ideas and things could could be as messy as I wanted and I didn't really use a lot of color and a lot of it is practicing as well. So these are just like, I would get a project and I would just sketch out as many thumbnails as I could and there's a lot of really messy, badly drawn stuff in here, but I think that is a good type of sketchbook to have. And I'm excited to show you my projects. And I use these three sketchbooks for different things. This one was a lot of like practicing from references, but I, I flipped through it and I realized there's actually a lot of project stuff in here too. This one only has a few pages left in it, but I'm still going to show you. There's literally like three pages. A lot of the pages got torn out and I use them for other stuff. Um, this one is halfway full because it's massive, but there's a lot of project sketches in it. So I'll start with the smaller ones first and then move to the big one. This is like a recollection sketchbook from Michaels or something. I think they're like $10 or less and they're huge and they are they come in really nice colors. And I think they're just great for not caring about what you draw and just sketching as much as you can to try to think of ideas because it doesn't really matter what your sketches look like really if you're trying to do a project all that matters is what the final result is i did have a lot of other sketchbooks where i did my nicer regular sketching in and i have a lot of videos on my channel of me flipping through those my art school sketchbooks that i actually like did while i was in art school but these are my project sketches and I'm excited to show you. So I'm going to start with the little one. Speaking of art school and learning, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community and there's thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can explore new skills, deepen your existing passions and get lost in your own creativity. There's tons of different topics on Skillshare for learning, like illustration, graphic design, fine art, there's video editing, lifestyle, all kinds of stuff. There's bound to be something on Skillshare that you'd enjoy. A class that I want to shout out is Illustrating and Procreate, Drawing a Shareable Time Lapse by Vashti Harrison. And I definitely think I should watch some Procreate videos because I use Procreate for everything and I think it would be cool to pick up a few extra tips. There are no ads on Skillshare so this means it's curated specifically for learning. They're always launching new premium classes and the lack of ads allow you to stay focused on what you're currently learning. Also, Skillshare's entire catalog of classes now offers subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thanks so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Their support really helps me to continue to do what I'm doing. And on with the rest of the video. This is my own sticker, a little worm. It was like a bird sticker sheet. Also, if you're watching this, my store just updated. There's lots of new stuff. I know I keep talking about it, but I'm very excited. So this is from Ikea. The pages are so thin, you can see like three pages below it. That's why I use this to practice drawing a lot of animals and I did a lot of project sketches in here as well so yeah I have a lot of fun drawing animals I used to find it really hard to draw animals and then I decided I want to learn how to draw animals and then if you just force yourself to draw something over and over you're bound to learn how to do it um these are some deer some deer skulls some random stuff a pose of people oh someone some random pose like these are all pulled from random images across the internet in me trying to draw them um those like long nosed dogs little bird um ram horn or is that even what it's called i'm not sure um some wolf thing a chair this is the kind of doodles that i'm talking about when i say this isn't my nice sketchbook this was for a life drawing class and these are what my thumbnails would look like when I'm trying to plan out what I wanted it to look like. Is this life drawing? It looks like it, but actually I'm not sure if it is now because we have these like, I'm not in art school anymore, I graduated almost a year, well, half a year ago, over half a year ago. But in art school, we had these like towers in the life drawing rooms and I thought that's what that was, but I don't think it is. My observational drawing was a lot better this time. Like, I think this is pretty good. It's not like a nicely rendered thing, but I think that the, like, the lines are really straight. 
Yeah, like I said, this is a really cheap sketchbook from Ikea. It was like a couple dollars. And I should probably keep filling it with reference stuff. I think that would be fun. A deer, some more deer. Um, I really enjoy drawing animal anatomy. I just think it's just really fun. And sometimes it's pretty frustrating if you're unfamiliar with it, but the more you draw it, the better you'll get. And these are all really fast. I'll have random notes in here. One, yeah, I don't, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> A really quick like gestural drawing of the skeleton and some other random deer poses. I would like pick an animal and just figure out how to draw it. Landscapes, more thumbnails. Horses. Everyone's always like, horses are so hard to draw. And honestly, they, they kind of are, but they also aren't. I don't know why I got so scared. It's just kind of like any other animal that runs. Um, I guess their joints are a bit different though, because their legs are like the same structure that we have in our fingers or something. I think I was way less rusty when I was doing this. Um, I think I was trying to figure out Patreon stuff here and I was trying to figure out, this was for some kind of project. My little stone garden dude. Then some more animal drawings. A little snake, two-headed snake. Um, I don't know what this bird is, but I like the way I shaded that. My lines were so like loose and you could tell I was like drawing really, really quickly and not really caring too much, but trying to see how good I can make it look while drawing very fast. This is my stone garden character. I did a lot of projects about him. I think I was planning like some motion illustration animation thing for that, um, a square. I think I was planning out, oh yeah, my stone garden journal page. That was my first ever journal page. I think um, the sketchbook is pretty old then. Drawings from photo reference of people. Um, me trying to get better at drawing landscapes and then losing interest, kind of, as you can tell at the end. <laughs> um, I think I was trying to plan out a video. I don't know if I ever actually made that video. And here's another journal page um, on my Patreon. I made this like two years ago or a year ago or a year and a half ago. My Animal Islands page. I think that was my second ever journal page I did. Um, more animal studies and I colored the background with marker. I think these are actually quite good. I don't know if I'm like this practiced anymore, but I think they're pretty good. Drawing abil my ability to draw like perspective I think was also pretty good. Um, we did a lot of stuff like that in art school. We had to like draw, we learned how to draw straight lines and perspective without rulers and stuff and it was really interesting. What is this? This was me planning out a essay? New ideas must use old buildings. Oh, this was me planning out another project. I think that was for my 3D class or like my digital class. It's a model something 3D and then make an illustration based off of it, I think. This was me trying to plan it out. I think my friend drew that. Um, I think I might have done that. That's my old dog's name. She's not here anymore. More, I was trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, lots of thumbnails for this like building landscape project. And I decided on making a city, but the city is made out of like old homes. So the skyscrapers are just like cottages all stacked up on each other. And it didn't exactly turn out how I wanted, but I think it, it turned out okay. Treehouse. I did end up going with that other one though. Um, I don't know what these are. More planning for it and I have no idea what this is. I think I was trying to figure out Patreon stickers or just stickers in general. I'm not sure. Um, some cool ink drawings. I think I got a new pen and I was testing it out. Oh, I really want to sketch. This is like inspiring me to actually draw. This is from Life Drawing. Um, different thumbnails so we'd have like a scene set up in front of us and then we'd try to figure out what composition we want we move elements around and then actually do a painting based off of that and that's it for that sketchbook I think I should fill the rest of it though that would be pretty fun all right now this one literally has like two or three pages in it so I'll just quickly show you those so the sketchbook is pretty beat up because this was basically like loose paper for me. I would take it to each class and if I ever needed to like scribble something down, I would like rip a page out of this and use it. Um, but there are a couple things left in here. I think this was when we were trying to decide a uh, what toy we wanted to 3D model. 
had to design a toy. I did really bad on that project. I just like, I wasn't really good at 3D modeling and like, I feel like we weren't, I don't know. It was a weird, weird class. A fish going fishing. Um, there had to be some point to it. I ended up doing like a three headed dog. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't remember this. Oh yes, this was me planning out my diorama. We had to do this like big diorama and I really hated that project. A lot of people liked it, but I, I just like, oh, I really hated that project. Another life drawing um, thumbnail. So I was trying to figure out what composition I wanted and like what I wanted to include in the, in the actual painting. Yeah, here's another one of those. I think it's the same day because the hat and the horse. There'd be like random animal heads and mannequins or be a live model like in a costume. Um, I kind of like that. There was like a horse, yeah. A little elephant on a skateboard. I don't know who drew that. I don't know if it was me or somebody else. There's still a lot of pages in here, but that's all that is. And now for the big, big boy, big sketchbook. All right, as you can see, the corners are quite a bit beat up, but we're gonna start looking. I really love how brightly colored these sketchbooks are. Um, okay, so warning, a lot of the drawings in here are not that good, but we'll see. Um, drawing, lots of random doodles. I don't know what this is. I think I was planning out a video. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I don't know why these pages are so empty. I was trying to draw people from reference. That's empty. Depend on self. See what I mean? I, I don't know what these are. I don't think I was in a good mood when I drew these. I was trying to figure out what to do for a project. Um, a mind map, trying to figure out what to do for a project. My mind maps were so ugly. Um, <laughs> like these drawings are so weird, but it's, it's, it's a good way to figure out ideas, I guess. There's Moomin. More random doodles trying to figure out what to do for that project. Um, I think this was my second year. I had four years total. More stuff. I ended up going with a dog. Any blue pen you see is my teacher starring ideas that are good. I ended up going with this idea. A dog picking up its own poo. Polar bear putting ice into the water. A little on the nose. Um, crossed out ones that wouldn't work. Like, look at these drawings. They're so... This wasn't me trying to draw, it was just like idea generation. More thumbnails, we're trying to figure this out. Um, someone's sitting on a train, but there's no chair under them. A cat walking across a wire, but there's no wire under the cat. The theme was like doing something yourself or like not having support to, like you have to support yourself. That was the theme. The one, I had to do two drawings for it and this, sort of idea didn't really work out but the other one worked out really well and it's one of my favorite drawings um a cat chopping up fish not really didn't really clearly identify the theme so many sketches for this stuff we have to fill pages and pages of ideas before we could settle on anything and i ended up going with this sort of sort of thing this one but the dog didn't look like that and then i remember i spent like so long trying to figure out how i wanted to stylize the dog and I drew the dog so many times to the point where it started to look kind of weird and scary. Like the short nose, the dog. This one with the long legs, kind of weird, kind of bizarre. I just kept redrawing the dog. I feel like I wasn't like that. Like, I feel like this is before I improved a lot. Um, dog picking up its own poo. Picking up its own poo, picking up its own poo. And I was trying to mess with the pencil crayon. This one's more of like a dynamic shot. So is this, so is this. I kept redrawing it. Here's the other idea of a squirrel crawling across a wire, but there's no wire under the squirrel. And I did little color studies. I really like these. I think they look really nice. I should have went with this one. I think it worked. But the problem with what I ended up doing is that the squirrel was kind of lost. He got lost in the end. This one, I really like the media. I think my teacher did too. I just kept redrawing it because every week we had to like do more refined ideas. I like his little legs in this one. That's pretty good. I actually like that. 
Flipping through this is like giving me ideas for future stuff to draw. Spring. I don't know why it says spring. Early spring. Oh yeah, this was like a one day turnaround project we had to do. Something to do with early spring, I don't really know. I ended up doing this like snowman sun thing that didn't work. Didn't really work. More thumbnails for drawings. This is my ladybug girl drawing. Um, this was for, I don't remember. I don't remember. I think it was like trying to figure out if I want to do this or this. This was just like a random drawing I did. It wasn't for school, but I still put it in here. Ooh, I think the reason why I put so much effort into this is because we had to do um, mind maps and hand them in. So we had to choose a recipe for and i think mine was a recipe for fear and i tried to do like my biggest fears which are like tornadoes tall waves all that stuff and i was going to do multiple illustrations ended up just doing one of this girl in a tornado of like all these like little creepy monsters with hands it's one of my favorite drawings i have did i make that into a print I feel like I should make that into a print. I really like that drawing. I don't remember if I ever sold it as a print. But look at all these thumbnails. I did so many thumbnails for this class because we had to do so many if we wanted to get a good mark. And it also just helps to come up with a better like final. But I don't really do this many thumbnails anymore for my current projects. This was from a story we had to read and then we had to do like a poster for it. I never really liked like reading things and then doing drawings that are based off of that because it kind of feels like it's not really like your own work i don't know i don't like to base it off of something that something else i don't know if that's just me though it almost feels like you're doing fan art and like i don't really like doing fan art but i know that's sort of like what you have to do as a freelance artist you draw stuff based off of people's people's own work so more thumbnails for that um, I think the story was about um, seeds that kind of fell from space and all these alien plants started to take over, but the world didn't end. They just kind of like mingled themselves, like intermixed themselves within the society. And then it kind of shows you like how years go by and the plants adapt to earth and people adapt to the plants and they get used to them. This was numbering every thumbnail to refer to them. Oh, this is when school went online. So I was making sure everything was very clear because you can't point and show teachers stuff. You have to like number them. And yeah, I think I ended up doing this drawing. Um, I don't remember what else. Maybe this one, maybe this one. But I remember having a lot of fun doing thumbnails and just like scribbling colors and media on top of stuff. And I really enjoyed doing that. Um, week 11 process. This was when school was almost over during the first, um, like, lockdown. Just notes. A statement of intent for this project. I think it was some sort of, like, practice thesis project. I think I did this one as well. For the final. But I did draw all of these. Um, gray and colorful swirls. Oh, this was planning for uh, motion illustrations. These are like frames. We kept doing like animated stuff and I just feel like I never really fully understood how to do it and I was never like drawn to it. Like I knew how to do it, but like I never felt like it was what I wanted to do. It was never my calling. So every time we did these like animated projects, like the motion stuff, I just basically did it to get the project done because I just really wasn't connected to making work that way and I, I would see all these people who were connected to it and they would their stuff would look so cool and mine just wouldn't <laughs> some more sketches um i think i drew this from yeah this is a life drawing the shark head bear a mannequin and i think actually that's it um yeah so those are my process sketches for art school i'm sure i have way more process sketches like all over the place on like loose papers everywhere 
I've recycled a lot of them because I just can't keep all this kind of stuff, but if it's in a sketchbook, then I will usually keep it. I don't like to get rid of sketchbooks, but if it's on loose paper and it's nothing too like important, then sometimes I will just recycle them. But these are like the three main exercise books I kind of had. I would put all my work, all my process drawings in here if I decided to use a sketchbook, because a lot of the time I did not use a sketchbook, like I said, and it's kind of everywhere. But I did, I do want to do a video where I show like all the art school stuff I have, but a lot of it I probably can't because um, it's life drawing, models, and I don't know if I'd get banned. I hope you enjoyed seeing this though. Um, it's fun to flip through them all again and to see like what, how I was drawing a few years ago. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.